IT managers, application developers, and others diagnose and want to understand the performance of devices in their organization so they can stay on top of issues that could lead to device downtime. They need to know how many reboots occur on their devices as well as how many applications are not responding and why. Can Visibility IQ help? Things to consider when identifying device disruption possibilities include how many reboots occur on my devices, whether they are system or user initiated, how many applications are not responding, and what is my ANR thread state. This video will show how to see device reboots and applications not responding ANRs, impacting your devices. The Device Disruptions Report helps you hone in on possible areas of debugging for optimum performance of your devices. To view the total number of types of device reboots and applications not responding ANRs, at a glance, Examine the title view of the Device Disruptions Report on the dashboard. Hover over the graph to view the data details for user-initiated reboots, ANRs, and system-initiated reboots. To see the detailed total number of device reboots and ANRs, click View Report. First notice that ANRs are displayed in the hundreds, while reboots are displayed in the thousands. Why is this information useful? Well, suppose you have a business process that says to reboot the device at the beginning of each shift. In that case, if you see more user-initiated reboots than expected as compared to the number of shifts, that could be an area for investigation. Now suppose you just performed a system upgrade. You compare the number of disruptions before and after the upgrade. If the number is about the same rate, then OK. Yet, if there's an increase, there could be an issue with the software upgrade that's causing problems, and you now know to investigate. ANRs are different from reboots. For example, suppose you roll out a new version of an application on Sunday, and the next day you receive a lot of ANRs. The Device Disruptions Report could help you identify an issue with this version of the application that could affect the downtime of your devices. The Device Disruption Report Detail Graph defaults to show trending for the last 30 days. Whether they are user-initiated, done so the device can work, or system-initiated, meaning the system reboots the device automatically. If you spot a jump in an otherwise flat trend line average, this anomaly could indicate a problem that needs your investigation or a scheduled situation, for example, an application upload. To view data from different aspects, click the Absolute or Normalize buttons. Click the Normalize button to see the average number of disruptions per device. Click the View ANRs to see the next level of detail. In this view, the report shows the top six applications that are reporting ANRs. This is where you might start your investigation into whether these applications are causing issues. Note that you can pick any specific application from the drop-down menu to display. The bottom of the report shows ANR details. Hover over the far right column of an application to display the View Thread States button. Click it to see the thread state for that application. While you may not be the one to perform a disruption diagnosis, you can use this report to notice anomalies and inform the IT manager. IT managers, this report is your friend. It allows you to drill down to the T states to see why disruptions are happening. Use the Device Disruptions Visibility IQ report to aid in debugging disruptions when considering how many reboots occur on my device, how many applications are not responding, and what is my ANR thread state.